Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Anthony Mitchell. All right, I'm heading over to my mom's house to knock out my strong lift. But like, I read on um, evaluated my mission statement because it used to be to help um, 10,000 plus individuals create a happier and healthier life or something along those lines. So I revamped like literally my mission statement now. Same concept is to help 10,000 plus individuals start working towards owning their lives by creating beach money. Because the majority of the population goes through life working for money, but they got nothing to show for it. And like I said, you can go, you can be in sales and sell a couple of products or services or whatever you sell. And that's awesome. You can make it. You can profit greatly from that. Just like if you're in network marketing, you can profit from buying the products wholesale and selling them retail. But that's how more people fail than succeed in network marketing because they focus on selling the products. Network marketing is not direct sales, y'all. Yes, it is part of the Direct Selling Association and a product or service does have to move where nobody gets paid, but that's not, your, your goal is not to go out there and just directly sell products and services. Your job on building a network marketing business is to create a bunch of channels, distribution channels, for the products or services to move through. You do that by sponsoring and teaching people how to own the lives by starting a home-based business. And then by them personally using the products or services themselves, the services or products are being moved, and then they're sharing with their friends and family and loved ones something that they found to be superior and helping them have an opportunity to start working towards owning their lives. And that's how the products or services move. Not by you going out there, stocking up on a car, putting it in your garage, and trying to go sell it. That's the old way, y'all. People don't do that no more. You simply refer people to a product or a service that you found to be superior and that you personally benefit from. If you don't believe in it, you shouldn't be promoting it. You shouldn't be representing it. You shouldn't have your name attached to it. But most people get that all screwed up. Just like uh, this guy on um, Bumble Business, he hit me up, and the first thing he did was ask me if I was interested in, in buying some products and all um, we connected and I'm like, hey, how are you achieving your goal? Or how are your sales going? Because it's all advertisement, it's all landscaping, stuff like that. Turns out that it is a freaking trying to grow a online coaching business. He has a YouTube channel, he's coaching about fitness, a lot of stuff like what I do. And I'm going to write him bronze, but some of the information he's putting out was stupid, but, well, in my opinion, it was stupid. It might be backed up, it might be supportive, I don't know. It's just not what I would choose to uh, talk about. But anyways, he's focused on selling his products or his service or his coaching business. And yeah, like I said, you can make a profit from that, but you'll never, well, it'll be difficult to own your life doing it that way. Just like you can own your life freaking working at McDonald's if you're smart with your money, but most people aren't. And that's where they fail. That's why most people hand their money, money over to financial advisors to invest for them because they don't take the time to research the best strategies to utilize. Personally, educate yourself, y'all. Don't listen to the companies you're affiliated with, or well, listen to them, but and do your research into them, but don't just research the information they're sharing with you because it's going to promote what they're talking about. Do your own research and figure out the best um, path for you to own your life. If that's becoming an investor, hey, go for it. I've been investing for years, but that's going to take time. If it's on um, building a residual repeat business, that's going to take time too. In the beginning, you're going to have to hustle and put in the work to make your um, dreams reality. But you do something once and you keep getting paid for it. That's why the two network marketing companies I'm affiliated with, they both pay you residual. And like I said, I use the financial services to get my finances in good shape. And I use the health products represented by the wellness company because I care about what I put in and on my body. And they both share the revenue by helping get the word out about the companies. It's a win-win. But y'all, it doesn't matter. If you want to go out there and sell stuff, more power to you. Be a salesperson. I said it's very profitable. You can make a nice profit that way. But you'll continuously, just like having a salary, you'll continue to have to work and hustle to produce the outcomes you want. 
it's just wiser to build a large team or a large organization of distribution channels that way a little bit of products move through each one of the channels and there you go that's how you create a nice little volume for your business so you can get compensated and then if you're following the own your life business system you're sponsoring someone else into the organization and then you go to work for them to help them start profiting from um, the residual income like right. it's not hard y'all there is a better way out there and it is known as network marketing and as of 2023 180 billion dollars of revenue of products being moved are going through network marketing and direct sales companies I said it's a freaking huge industry so why so many people talk crap about it I don't know actually I have a guy today because they focus on building a network marketing business as a direct sales company which like I said you can profit that way but you won't truly own your life that way it's smarter to build a network marketing business by building a network marketing business not by focusing on selling the products or services that's what life insurance agents do that's what real estate agents do and as you can see it's very lucrative there's a lot of people who made a lot of money there's a lot of people that failed just like in network marketing there's a lot of people that failed there's a lot of people that made money but they did and that, that dumb concept of only the people at the top make money I, I watched the YouTube channel yesterday uh, yeah now MLM versus reality only the people at the top make money no only the people in direct sales companies at the top make money I agree now we're marking everybody starts at the bottom and the sky's the limit how big you want to grow you grow by helping products and services move from the manufacturer to the consumer by word of mouth marketing not by retailing the products and buying crap and selling it said you can make a penny that way but you can create true wealth and financial freedom by duplicating yourself so stop working in your business all the time and work on your business by multiplying your efforts adding and subtracting that's a salesperson's game I said it can be lucrative but it's not day time anyways y'all hopefully you got some value out of this hopefully you resonate with my mission statement subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments if you resonate with it or if you think I should update it again and what you're doing the word towards on your life again subscribe share comment hit notification all that good YouTube stuff and y'all have a great day I'm about to get on the interstate